Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, I know it's late, but we need to keep this energy up as we are coming together to take care of one another, to hear one another, especially our students. Buju, Peggy Flanagan, Indigenous Paz. My name is Peggy Flanagan. I'm a member of the White Earth Band of Ojibwe. My family is the Wolf Clan. The role of our clan is to work to ensure we're not leaving anyone behind, which is why I'm here with all of you tonight to be a co-conspirator. I want to thank the Minnesota Justice Coalition and Jonathan in particular for his fight to bring us all together and for the work that he does every day. As a Minnesotan, um, as an elected leader, as an Anishinaabe Kwe, I am horrified and deeply saddened by what occurred in Prior Lake. But let's be clear, this issue is not confined to Prior Lake. We see instances of racism and bullying in schools across the state and country, and as always, it is unacceptable. But I tell you this, I am grateful for Naya. I am grateful for Naya for telling the truth, for not backing down, and for just being a courageous young woman that we all can lift up in this moment. She's not here tonight, but I know that so many of us are here because she had the courage to say enough. Yeah. And I'm grateful that many of our elected leaders are here who are willing to do the work but really, we are here for our students and to listen to the stories of our students. I'm a mom of an eight-year-old little Ojibwe kiddo who walks into school every day, and at the end of each day, I say, how was your day every day, hoping to not hear one of the stories that we hear from our young people across the state. And I can't tell you that she has been untouched by the issue of racism, but I'm gonna do whatever I can to ensure that my child and all the young people here have what they need to feel supported and for us as leaders to work through the discomfort of Minnesota Nights, which has perpetuated the very reason why we are here tonight in the first place. And I know that anti-blackness exists in the Native community and in other communities of color and we have to bring that nuance into this conversation. We have to commit to doing everything we can in our power to ensure that no child in this state has to go to school and experience harm. And to the young people here today, I see you, I value you, I am grateful for your courage to tell your story. And the most important thing that I heard Jonathan say is that these policies moving forward need to be student informed. Too often, the voices of young people are missing from the legislation that we work to move forward. That can't happen this time. So, Gitchi Miigwech for allowing me to be here with you tonight, and I look forward to hearing from all of you. Thank you.